everyone, so today I'm back with Back to School Makeup. I'm using mostly drugstore products. I am using the Naked Palette, but you can find easy dupes for that at the drugstore as well. I know drugstore for school, back to school is good because students might be on a budget. So with this look, I think it just really enhances the lips and also it's not too much makeup on the eyes, but it's enough to make you look pretty and done up. So I'm starting with a super BB cream from... I forgot the website, I think it's from like Korea, but I ordered it on Amazon. I could do a review about it because this stuff has been my favorite. You pat it on, I concentrate mostly on my dark circles, my nose area, my chin, just everywhere. But I haven't used my Lancome foundation in over three months because I love this stuff so much. Next I'm priming my eyes with Too Faced Shadow Insurance as always. Just to make sure that our shadows are vibrant and stay on all day without creasing. You could also use the e.l.f. eyelid primer I really recommend, it's only $1. Then the Makeup Forever Concealer, I'm using a light one. This is pretty expensive, but you can use any light concealer that you have. And I'm just using this under the brows to really just define the shape because your brows really shape your face and can enhance your face so much. So if you just shape them up really well, it can make your face look really great. So the Naked Palette, I'm using Sin. And I'm gonna just put this on my lid, mostly focusing on the center of the lid because that's where the light's gonna reflect and just really make the color shine and pop and look great. And then I'm spreading it kind of outwards towards the outer corner. And then I'm just going to touch it a little bit on the inner corner. Then I'm using Virgin. And it's going to go into the inner corner and, and that inner tear duct, which is going to just brighten up the eye and make you look more awake because I know everybody's tired in the beginning of school. This color is just pretty natural, not too much. Look great on any skin tone. Thin is just one of the best colors, I think. Then I'm taking Buck, which is a nice matte brown. I'm using this to define the crease. It's not going to be too much because it's matte, so it's just going to define it really nicely without being overly obvious and just too much color. And then I'm just going to blend it up a little bit just to kind of blend it out and make it a transition color. Next, I'm taking Dark Horse. Just a little bit of it and we're just going to dab this in that outer corner V area just to darken it up a little bit and give it a little more definition. You don't want to go too crazy. You just want to dab a little bit on and you want to make sure that you really blend that in. If you lose any of that brightness from the thin color you can always just dab it back on and make sure you blend it out. Now I'm taking Virgin, I'm going to apply this over the concealer as a highlight, which is really going to also help the brows pop. And you can drag that down to help blend out that dark horse color. And then also I'm going to blend it out with my fingers as well. And you could also take a color like Naked and put it right there. Then I'm going to take my NYC Black Liner, and I'm going to line my eyes with this. I usually do winged liner, but I figured lining it with a pencil liner and then smudging it out is going to give you a much more natural soft effect for school because you don't want it to look so harsh so you could just this is just like a more natural subtle look so you're just going to line it and then kind of smudge it out so it looks a little bit softer and also added some at the bottom just a little bit then i'm just adding dark horse over that liner at the bottom to set it and then I'm taking Mega Plush Volume Maybelline. This is the mascara that I'm trying out. I think I saw it new at Walmart. I've been using it lately, but I just think with no matter what mascara I use, my lashes always just look non-existent. So I just hate my small little Asian eyes. Then I'm filling in my brows with Buck. I think this is a great eyebrow color. I'm using an angle brush using like soft hair like stroking motion. You don't want to go too heavy in the front because it will look really fake. So I do put it in the front, but then I'll brush it out and shape it. And then when I brush it out in the front, I kind of like blend it out with my finger, as you can see. Then I'm using Wet n Wild Pearlescent Pink. This blush is cheap, and I think it's great because it's super pigmented. And you don't want to put too much of this on because you will look crazy, but you can always blend it out. It blends out well. It's super pigmented. Then I'm using this CoverGirl bronzer. I got it a while ago, and I don't really know the name, but I like it because it's not way darker than your skin. It's just a little bit, so it just gives you kind of like a sun-kissed glow. Still contouring, but not looking too crazy. So I'm putting that like at my temples and the hollows of my cheeks and underneath my chin. And then I'm highlighting my cheekbones 
with Virgin from the Naked Palette. Also, the center of my forehead, down my nose, and my chin again. And I really think highlighting the face brightens it up. Then this is just new L'Oreal color. I love the packaging. It looks so fancy. And it's in Sunset Agora. I just think this is a great color. It's kind of like a coral pink, and I just love that. It just really enhances the lips without being like too pink or too red. It's just like a nice color for school. And this is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed. We'll maybe wear it to school. And have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and read today's quote.